Hi everyone. Today we're going to go over how to create an explosion box. So what is an explosion box? So let me go ahead and take off the lid. And voila, boom, there we go. It exploded. So an explosion box is a little gift box that you can personalize. Um, you can use it to give a gift. So if you have like a little small gift you want to give somebody, but you want to add a little, you know, you want to jazz it up a little bit, you could like set it right here in the center. That would be great. You know, you could just glue it there. There you go. Um, you can uh, give the box itself as a gift. You could personalize it with pictures. You could personalize it with um, drawings, uh, little messages. If you want to write here on the sides or here on the side panels here. Um, we give you some stuff um, with the uh, kit that we provided. Um, you will have some of the supplies. Let me go ahead and show them to you. Move that out of the way. So in the kit, you will be getting the pieces necessary to make the explosion box. And you'll be getting a little baggie of uh, embellishments, like some stars, some bows, uh, a little Merry Christmas confetti, and some tree cutouts. You'll be getting this little tuft of uh, polyfill that you could use for like a little snow effect. You will also be getting a slip of scrapbook paper, a little decorative paper uh, that you could cut down to the size of the sides if you want, or if you want to just do something totally different with it, that's all up to you. Um, to create the box, you're going to grab these two pieces first, and uh, you're going to go ahead and fold it. So we'll start off with the largest part, the base, the actual box. So um, it's already cut down to size. It's already uh, there is a smooth side, and there's also a more uh, um, scored side. So if you see these here, these little creases, you see the creases here, these are going to uh, indicate where you're going to fold. So to uh, fold this, you're going to want to fold away from the crease. So uh, an easy way to do that is by laying it with the smoother side of to fold you're just going to go ahead and follow those lines bring it up and then bring this side up and then bring that up you want to make sure it's nice and creased and then to get these side pieces here it helps if you fold away from the crease first and then fold it inwards the way you need it so that way once everything's nice and creased and folded it will come together as a nice little square box. Put that aside. You'll also do the same thing with the um, lid. Uh, the lid will be the same. It'll have the creases and you're gonna wanna fold away from the creases. And then they also have little creases that'll indicate some tabs. Those tabs are what you're gonna want to glue or tape um, onto the box. Um, those, that would be another supply that you would probably have to provide from that you would provide from home uh, is glue or tape and some scissors. Um, but once you get that done and fold it, it'll look like this, you know, ready to go onto your box. So once you got that folded and maybe you brainstorm and you have an idea of what you want to do, I'm gonna bring over this guy back and uh, how you want to decorate, how you want to use it. Um, it's all up to your creati creativity. Uh, you can use these uh, tree cutouts that we provide that have little slits on them. So there's one with slits here at the bottom. There's some up here with slits at the top. And that is so that way you could put these together and you want to slide these through one another. So that way you can create a little 3D tree that you could um, have standing in the middle of your box, the way we have it set up here. Or you could have it on the lid if you wanted a little bit more ornate. Or if you want to just use these cutouts to decorate your tree from the inside or the outside, however way you want. Um, then we 
also have the scrapbook paper. And the way we used it um, for this box is by cutting it down to two squares and then we uh, glued them on. Um, you can also cut these down to a size where you can make a little pocket for not only the candy, um, but for uh, a gift card. If you're trying to give a gift card to someone this year, you could do a layer effect with the photo. So you could grab a photo and you could glue the photo onto the side. And then you could come along and use the, the scrapbook paper to kind of like glue part of it here and then bend it back so that way it could be like a little layered message so you could pull back and reveal the the uh photo you could put little messages in here it's a lot a lot of fun a lot of ideas are on pinterest you know so um if you want to see how certain uh, effects are done you can do that there's just like endless possibilities but once you're done and you got everything where you want it everything's either glued or taped down go ahead and start folding the box and you're going to just hang on to one side that side is going to fall of course you're going to go ahead and grab your lid and you're going to grab the end that fell and then you're going to just squeeze the box a little bit until the lid is able to fit on top of your box and there you go, your explosion box. Hope you have fun with these. See you next time.